Welcome to Mini Shops How To Videos with myself, Elizabeth. A little while ago, I got a request for Bull Terriers. That's what we're going to be making today. Also, at the end of this video, I'll have some photos of the dogs you guys have made, which I really love seeing. So if you'd like to share, I'd love to share too. Let's get to it. To begin, you'll need something to protect your tabletop. I'm using this plain white piece of paper. You'll also need some clay, the color for the base of your Bull Terrier, for their nose and their eyes, and then whatever additional colors their markings are. You'll need a potter's needle or a toothpick works well, some sort of silicone dowel tool, or a pen tip works also. All right, let's warm up our base color. The Bull Terrier has a unique looking face with some distinct features, so I'm going to point those out as we're sculpting. All right, take about the smudge clay or however big you want the dog to be to make their face and then roll that into a small ball between your fingers or between your palms or on your tabletop. All right, once you have that, flatten it just a smidge like so. And then you're going to take another piece about a quarter of the size and roll that into a ball as well. Then make it into a teardrop shape and then smush the upper portion of the teardrop. And that you're going to set halfway down the face like this. You're going to smooth that in from the side as well. This elongated face is one of the distinct features. Rather than a dog whose nose sticks out like that, it goes down. And then just for reference points, we're going to put eye marks. So they're a little bit higher up, about two thirds of the way up. And just indent on that side and then on this side. So those are just our reference points. We're not stuck to these eye points because we'll be adding some layers, but that's just to have an idea. So next, because there's about three structures of the faces, there's the nose portion and then there's another little bend back and then the flatter portion of the top. So we're going to take our clay and kind of flatten it like so and then put a little portion right here so that it's going like this. And then we'll put another portion for the top of the head right here, like this. So it's three portions. And there are different ridges and unique features, but this is just the base. So we're smoothing those together with your finger or your toothpick. Now you may cover up the eyes, but that's all right, just for reference again. All right, it may take a little bit of work to smooth out ridges. Another distinct feature is the strong cheekbone here. So we're going to take a small amount, rolling it between our fingers and then flattening it and then setting that right there for their high cheekbone. We'll do that on both sides like so. And then we're going to take about half the size of that for the muzzle. So roll it into a ball and flatten it. And then we'll come down here and set that just barely visible from the front. Make another one, roll it and then set that next to the ball that you just placed. All right, then we'll smooth those in, smoothing them all. Now here at this point, you can take your silicone dowel tool and smooth the lines a little easier. I like to use my finger to smooth the bigger lines and then once we need the more fine detail smoothing, to use our silicone dowel tool like this. All right, it's definitely looking in progress. So don't worry if yours doesn't look amazing yet. The process is a little clunky, but the end result is awesome. Just keep smoothing it down. Okay, and now I'm just gonna repress those eye indents on either side. And then I'm going to take a small piece of clay, about yay big, make the little ridge portion here. And then a tiny bit more, roll it into a snake and then place it right above that. And we're gonna smooth that in like so. And again, your dog may or may not have similar little of these ridges, but just look at your dog's face and see where it has the unique shapes on its face and add those accordingly. All right, there's that. Take the black and take about as much as you think might fit in the eye. Roll it into a ball, pinch it between your fingers to make a triangle, tap the bottom, and then flatten it. Set it right there. Now, set that down. We're gonna do the ears before we do the eyes. Take about as much as you took for the first portion and split it in two. Roll those into balls and then make them into triangles between your fingers. And then pinch the top like this so that it's slanting up. And then set them in line about there. And then about this far back. 
smooth it down. This is just the rough shape again. We'll work with it and make it look more like the bull terrier ears. Pinch this portion so that the top of the ear is smaller. All right, add the next ear. We'll roll it into a ball. Pinch it between your fingers. Pinch the top so it's a little smaller. And then set it in line with the top of the eye. And then we're gonna smooth it in. It takes a minute. And if you feel yours are too big or too small, just take a little clay off, add a little clay. Don't be afraid to mess up. Keep smoothing. And then pull this portion of the ear out a smidge. And then the other ear. And then we are going to indent, like so. Pinch the ears up again. And then pull back the excess on the other side. And then you may need to push the ears forward a little bit or pull them back depending on your specific dog. And then we're gonna do the other side here. Press, and then I use the corner of the silicone dowel tool to make the corner of the ear, like so. I leave a little bit of space here because the dogs have that space where their ear connects. All right, and then smooth that out. One ear is some always trickier than the other ear, I find. Unless you get it right on the first start. But here we go. Smoothing it out again, and then adjust as needed and pull the ear back. Okay, this needs a little bit. Go ahead and indent here again. A smidge less clay right there. Okay, so we have that. You might notice that right here needs a smidge more clay also. So roll a ball, flatten it between your fingers, and make it kind of flat snake. Smooth it in, smoothing it in bottom. Now we'll need one more little indent here, one more little bump out. Roll it between your fingers and then press it on in between those two ridges. And then continue to smooth out. Okay, continue to make sure that it's always a sloping down momentum for the face. Okay, and sometimes the ears may be too close together or too far apart. So just deduce based on your dog. Indent the eyes one more time and then we're going to put the eyes in all right take your white clay just a little bit and then cut it in half roll it into two balls set those in the indents you've made and then take your broken dowel tool indent those grab your brown about as much as you took for the white split that into two roll those into balls and place them on top of the white all right another indent and grab your black clay take about half as much as you took from the brown clay split it into two roll those into balls again and set those on top okay once you've done that we're gonna add the shape around the eyes so take your base color and roll it into a thin snake break it off about that much and then give your dog a little bit of an eyebrow on the top and then a smaller one on the bottom. All right, break it off at the end. Then we'll do that on both sides. Roll it, give him an eyebrow. And it might be a little thick, so just roll it a little thinner. Kind of angle it towards the back. And then a smaller one for the bottom. We'll smooth this in, don't worry. And then take a little bit more clay and set it right in the front a little on both sides like this take your silicone dowel tool and smooth those in this will take some time and the smoothing may look a little choppy so just take your time to smooth it all out right, other side all right you can now actually take your silicone dowel tool and just slightly press right on one side of the nose and then the other you can also take your toothpick Press it and then make a line and a line. And then if you want to add some different coloring, I want to add a white strip up along here. Take that coloring you would like to add, warm it up, and then roll it out into a snake. Or if you want a spot, roll it into a circle and then flatten it very thin. And then set it wherever you would like your unique markings to be. I usually make it a little thinner than I want a little bit smaller because we'll spread it out. If your dog has a little bit of pink near its nose, you can take a tiny bit there too. And just set it on and smooth it out. 
All right, when you're happy with it, take a little bit of pink and set it down in the ear, down in the other ear, and smooth it out. Now, if your still looks a little choppy, you can just keep smoothing it. Also, if you feel like your clay gets too warm, you can pause, let it cool down, maybe let your hands cool down, and then come back to it. But we're going to take our white clay again, and ever so slightly flick a little bit of white clay off, and then set it in the eyes, like so. A little, little enough one, and set it in the other eye. If it's too small, just take a little bit bigger one. If it's too big, you can just very carefully take it out. That's why I wait to press it down until both eyes have their sparkles. Now, I'm gonna set that down for a second. Now we're gonna make the body. If you have tin foil on hand, take a little amount and crumple it up into a body shape. Then size it up for your dog. Take a toothpick, break part of it off if needed. Stick that pointed end first into the tin foil. If you're having difficulty like I am, take your partner's needle or remake it if you just have a toothpick. Press that in and then if you find it to be too tall, break a little bit more off and stick your dog's head on there. Cover so carefully. So, and then you're gonna add some clay, roll it into a very big snake and wrap it around for the neck portion and then the neck should only be about this thick. So then take your clay, your base color, and wrap it all the way around. Okay, set it down so that it stays stable. And then smooth out those portions that aren't so smooth. Smooth the top head into the neck. All right, the bull terriers when they're sitting, they often have a swoop here and then it bumps out right here to go like that. So you can add that portion, just kind of a clump of clay back there. Like so. They usually also have good chest muscles, so take another bit of clay, roll it out, and set it right about here. Then take some more toothpicks, size them up to about how far out you want them to be, and then break them off, stick it in there, test the first one, and then size it up with this next toothpick, break it off like that. So then now put the two legs however your dog sits. If they have more of a wide set posture, you can do that. And then roll your clay into a long cylinder like this, stick it in, and then put it back. And then fold your feet like so. Might need to take some off also. Okay, next leg, roll it out, take the toothpick out, stick it in there, and then return it. Fold that foot over again until it looks good. If fairly small paws, so don't want them to be too big unless you're going for cutesy or puppy. It takes a while to make sure that the legs are actually the right thickness. So you can just pull and push excess clay up if you'd like. So you can keep smoothing this portion out. If it looks too thick, take away clay. If it looks too thin, add clay. And you attach a little bit of chest here and here. Okay, I'm gonna smooth this portion. Indenting right here a little bit and right here. Take a little bit more, about two small balls, and then set them right up here at the shoulder area, right there and right there, and we can smooth those in, and then we can add the back legs. All right, before we do the legs, we can add some additional markings. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the front chest of the dog. You can roll it out and then flatten it, and then pull that flattened piece, similar to how we did the face, and then I'm gonna set pinch this area to go right in between the front legs like that. Take your silicone dowel tool, and press it down like so. And you can just use your nail to make a line and pull that off. You can smooth it as needed. I'll add a little bit more to the chest right here. And to smooth the edge, just take it and tap it. Some clay is easier to smooth together than others. It just depends on which type you're using and which color. And you can add a little bit 
pause if you want. I'll go like that. Then we're gonna add the back legs. So take a sizable piece, roll it out into a cylinder shape, and then set it right about here. Fold it over about that height, and then pinch it off. Roll the end and make the paw. And then you can make your dog's legs slanting out if you want, like that. Or you notice it needs to come forward, pull it, push it forward, and then you can make the other leg. If she sits with, or she sits with her leg underneath her, you can fold forehand and then add the paw and then add the leg to the side like this it's kind of like that and if you notice your leg is too big take it off roll it out a little more take a little bit off and fold it over on itself again and then you can add it like so and i usually add a little bit to the back here and smooth them together whatever needs smoothing okay and for the paws, take your potter's needle and press the lines, three lines on each paw, and pressing, pressing, and then back here, one, two, three, one, two, three, if a hair gets on there, just flick it off. Now for the tail, do the same thing we've done, take some clay, roll it into a ball, then roll that into a snake and then break it off at about the length your dog's tail is pinch the end and then attach it to the back smooth it in as you need as you like all right if you want to add a dog's collar you can just take a little bit of clay roll it out into a snake again and then press that flat set that down wrap it around Take a knife or your toothpick or potter's needle, cut it like that. Take a little bit of black clay, roll it into a very thin strip, set that down there. Mix a little bit of white and black for the tag, or if you have gray clay, you can use that too. Or if your dog's tag is like orange or pink or something. Roll that into a ball, about yay big, and flatten it between your fingers. Set it down, press a hole into it, take another tiny piece of black clay, Roll it into a tiny strip and set that in the center of the hole. Sometimes it takes a second. You can use your potter's needle also. The goal is to make it look like it's attached to the collar and then you can write your dog's name on here. Or just a heart. Don't forget to sign your name and date it. If you have any questions, let me know below. And I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.